What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Nate Campbell. Oh, uh, yeah. How y'all doing? Baby, look here. I want y'all to hear something tonight. We're going to talk some trash tonight. You're going to talk about Justice Moulet. Um, I think they picked up two guys on that situation with him. But it turns out they were extras on his um on his on the on the Empire show, so they had some kind of link. I don't know why Justice Moulet won't just go ahead and say they had a he was doing that looked like a rough sex fight with me. Have you seen his face? John, have you seen I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did. I did. I'm like I I've been I, I look, I I I just wanna let y'all know. Show the picture of could somebody show the picture of when yeah, hold up. when 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 yeah, when he got yeah, when he got when he yeah right there right there see right here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm like, really, bro? You you say they beat you up? What's going on, Lou? Lewis, what's going on, Big is, is that him right there with the? Yeah, that's him. He said that's that's after being jumped by two people. That's like rough sex to me. Yeah, what's the story on this? Okay, they keep saying that he got jumped by two men. Um. Oh, you remember when they had that 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 heart that it was in Chicago, wasn't it? It was cold, like twenty right. something, thirty something below yeah. zero. First of all, you talk your ass off. It's thirty something below zero. It's twenty some thirty something below zero outside. And at the end of the day, when you look at how the night, when you look at how cold it was, it says news just came in. Something just came in on my on my um. As we're speaking, I can't even make this up. Um, say just Moulet pay. Hold on. Yeah, it's on my um. Look at Justice Moulet pay Jesse. Jesse, yeah. Smoulet paid these boys. Is what I'm hit. What I'm. What I think they're finna say. And I, I don't. I don't get it. The, I, the, the, well, here's the article right here. I'm gonna put it up. There, there. it is. This is. Uh, this is what it says. It says um. Did Empire Star stage oh, get these stupid ads off? Get them off. Okay. These guys with the ads. Did Empire Star stage hate crime on himself to save his job? Is accused of setting up MAGA racist and homophobic attack because he was being written out after two show extras are detained. Wait a minute. What, what, how are they writing him out? I mean, this motherfucker is the one. Yeah. Well, so. he. I mean, he. no offense. Truth be told, without Justice Moulet, there's really no turn. There's no real turn in the show. I mean, because he's the gay one. Everybody likes the gay one. I don't know. But th th it, it, they haven't, like, made an arrest. Right? Yeah, like, have they, it says they're questioning two guys that were extras on the set. So he paid them to beat him up. So what what did, what would that do? How does that save his job? Well, understand. because um you know now they're doing this now they're doing this um they're doing this what is it this um what the what's the new movie that um the new movie that um Lee Daniels is trying to do Super Bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's trying to do the Super Bitch movie. Y'all better be very aware. Look, I told y'all this was some some bullshit. So he's hired a defense attorney already. There you go. Why are you hiring a defense attorney if you got attacked? Because he knows it's coming. Yeah. Well. He knows it's coming. It's coming, baby. It's crazy. It is coming. See, my problem is LB, and now what are they doing? I think what's going to happen is they're going to distance themselves. Mm -hmm. LBGT is going to distance themselves from him and turn him out, going to turn him out and – Leave him out there by himself to ride on the vine. If he doesn't produce, because cause, cause look, this was big time stuff. This was national everything. So you got to be um, willing to understand that this ain't going to just stop right here. This was national news. Yeah, it's going to be even a bigger deal if they yeah. end up putting handcuffs on him for staging a, oh, yeah. you know, wasting the cop's time with a stage shit to, you know. I mean, what th these kind of things are s <laughs> like whatever cause he's got going on. Set back about ten steps when you do stuff like this, like you know, a 
appeal to the deepest fears of everybody. Two guys with MAGA hats on attack the gay guy in the street, and it's a, you know, it's, it's a... Let me tell you something. And, and he staged it. I'm upset because he said they call him nigger and faggot. And I call him that every time I talk about him. <laughs> that's that's how I, that's just the way I say it. That, look, far as I, that's what who wills me. Y'all, y'all, listen, y'all act like when, 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 when me and my boys are together, we don't see, you, you know the, the motherfucker from Empire, the, 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 the nigga from Empire, the faggot, the faggot nigga from Empire. That's where the conversation go. That is how the conversation go. Now you can't say it, John, but um, me and my boys can. We say it, and 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 we and you and uh, most folk don't want to admit that's how we admit how we 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 bring him up. Same thing we said about um, same thing we said about um Tyler, not Tyler Perry, well, Tyler Perry too, I guess. Um, Lee Daniels, do you know the the, 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 the you know the faggot? The faggot, you all right in Hollywood now? The faggot, the, the nigga, the nigga. The, the, and that's the way you do it. And nobody don't want to. And they get mad about that because you cannot. What I've come to realize is you cannot tell me how to speak in private. And if I say it in public, you can't get mad either because at the end of the day, you might be able to stop me from getting some sponsorships or this, that, and other. But if, what if I don't give a damn about sponsorships? What if I? What if I'm? What if I'm me? And I just I'm just gonna speak my way. And that's not racist for me to say it, and they call me homophobic. I ain't I ain't afraid of gays. Yeah, no, th- that's the one I just can't quite wrap my head around that exact frame. Because if you're agoraphobic or you know afraid of spiders, you're afraid of whatever. It, it, the the homophobic thing gets it, gets tagged on anybody, 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 anybody. But, but I don't know. Okay, so first of all, I don't understand. It, are you are the person who are they supposed to be afraid of gays? Is that what it is? See, um, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Gays, I, I said this before. They don't want. They don't want tolerance. They want acceptance, and they're fighting for acceptance. And the feminist movement jumped up, and then the LBGT movement jumped up. Then the Me Too movement jumped up. All that is a greater way to, to, to make men to make men less. They want to take power from men, but then black men are the ones that suffer because black men have no say anyway. You ain't gonna ever get the power from the white man till he's dead and gone. You right. never, go, you're never gonna get power from the white guy till he's dead and gone. The white guy refuses to give. I, I keep telling these women, before the white man give you power, he'll lock your ass up in a cage, and come in and fuck you with his pleasure, and lock you back up again. That's what you're dealing with. So stop saying homophobia, especially for black men. Most black men ain't phobic of shit. We definitely ain't phobic of you. We ain't afraid of nothing. That I know of. None of the guys I know of. I know fighters. Straight male fighters. And we ain't afraid of you gays at all. We ain't mad with you. I am actually, yo, I am actually not an advocate, but I am an ally of gay men. Explain. I pull for gay men to be gay. I pull that more men are gay every day. Because that is, for every two men to get together... There's two women I can nail, perspectively. <laughs> yeah, man, gotta look at his. Uh, I gotta be, I gotta be selfish about this less, thing. Less lions on the Serengeti. Yes, dude, I'm the only one that I'm the only one walking around the past. I am everything right now, and 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 our problem is that we are so. What's the word? Sissified nowadays. They sissified the man. To the point the man can't speak his mind and say a damn thing. And then women like I me and a woman was talking today and she I said, I'm so sick of women saying trying to tell me what it is to be a man and she has no fucking idea. And she was like, What do you mean? And I told her what I meant, excuse me. I told her what I meant. I said, um men are men because they're men. And they get to be men. And we should get to, I want women to be men. You know what I'm saying? And and people, I'm, I'm, I'm texting somebody because I want them to hear this up. I want the LDL TV live on YouTube. You can call in right now. The phone lines are open. Yeah, 904-302-7220. Right it's right there on the screen in green right. next to Nate. Right. And I say that because 
I want men to be able to be men and women to be, able to be women, and then for us to all have a understanding about what we're doing. You well, know? I saw an interesting thing today. Watched the news. The debate's getting hot again. Um, with all the women that are running for president now. <laughs> And so the debate then came up again this morning. Michael Smirkanish, who's on CNN, who's a pretty, um, he's one of the most uh, nonpartisan guys on TV that's any on any of these networks. He's, he's, a, he's a lawyer from Philadelphia. But he, I've listened to him on the radio. He's very nonpartisan. But he, he got into a discussion with a lady that's a feminist or whatever she is, and, and just discussing how women that run for it, the, the, here's what happened. Let me see if I can bring it up for you. Yeah, now. because but, uh, somebody put uh, they did a social media story on um, Kamala Harris, not not Kamala Harris. Um, it was a governor from uh, Michigan, and she did a State of the Union address on social media or State of the State address, and um, they the story showed all the posts that people had, and the story was obviously supposed to be about how. Um, Gretchen Whitmer is her name. The story showed all the comments that were being made about her. Now, here, 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 okay. what does it say? Was, was here, the title here, here, here what she is. The title? Go back to the title. Go back. It says, won't stand for sexist comments about. About what she wears. So so she wore this, okay? Mm -hmm. Which let me let me squeeze it down here a little bit. See if I can get it, the whole thing on. And, um, okay. So now you can see what she's wearing. I mean. Yeah, I don't care what she wears. Yeah. But, but. So the, she broadcast the speech on social media, and then there's a there's a a text feed underneath it, and people are making comments right about her dress. Not everybody was making comments about it. They picked out the ones where people made comments. Somebody said it's like too tight. Thinks you should probably wear a business suit. Like I just read all the comments. I'm like, who fucking cares? So you put the thing on social media, and and you encourage people to comment, and they fucking comment. And you don't like the comments. And you don't like the comments. Because because and their point is is they're not making comments about men. Well, nobody so, cares. Yes, they do. They call dude. They call they they call Donald Trump a uh, president orange. They picking his hair. Oh yeah. No, Stop I know. it. If you don't, if you go, hey, look. If you can't take the shit, get out. Get off the toilet. Well, if you're if you're listen, if you're a, if you're a politician now, everything is fair game. And if they treat you a little bit differently, that's part of the game. Don't sit there and get mad. But this is so she puts it on social media. Okay, How strong won't stand for sexist comments. Well, you put it on social media with comments. then block the comments if you don't want to see them. Then guess what? Get out of public office. Right. Exactly, exactly. Get but, out of public office. My problem is this. let me tell you something. Women want everybody to be fucking women. Everybody ain't fucking women. Like the, what? What the ball name is? Um, Sanders. Simone Sanders. To my why? 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 Why black men coming for um? What's her name? What the bitch name is? Um, Kamala Harris. Yeah, and I and I'm sorry I say that, but I don't know her personally, so I I'm throwing. I'm just saying, and and, and I'm like, dude, I'm like saying that because at the end of the day, everybody called Trump fuck boy and call him all kind of. I'm like, I agree with some of the names they call him, but I don't say nothing because at the end of the day, I don't particularly care. Dude, they call me names. They call me names. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. You think we're not going to say nothing about her ugly, ugly husband? Huh? Well, the, 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 um, the, the discussion that I heard this morning, this is a, dis a recurring discussion now, uh, especially am amongst feminist women, is that, um, that, that people will vote for a man they don't personally like, even though they'll vote for him even though they don't personally like him. But they won't vote for a woman... Because they say, I have to agree with his policies and personally like him. That's the reason people gave for not voting for Hillary. So what? I yeah. wouldn't vote for Hillary at all. Right. See, the problem is this. And I'm going to tell you something. When black women bought into the Hillary Clinton shit, that woman wanted to keep you from being able to vote. She actually was with the, um, what's his name? She was a um, um, Goldwater girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. She wasn't, she jumped parties. She jumped parties because she knew you motherfuckers would forget and forgive. Blacks have been voting Democrat for the last 60 or so years. And guess what? They ain't got shit to show for it as a whole. Some folks like, go always, it's always going to be people that rise, that, that, that do well. 
because they're going to sell out or they're going to Steve Harvey, perfect example. Steve Harvey, sold out. But if you really want to be honest, I'd vote for um Monique over Steve Harvey if they were running for office and I had to choose one of the two. And the problem is we don't want to stop. Just look, look, quit bitching. If you don't like it, don't do it. But don't talk about what I, how I got to act. I got to I got to respond the way you see fit. Fuck out of here, man. That's why I'll just tell you right now, you're you're probably never going to we're probably never going to see a woman president in our lifetime. It's not going to happen. It is. You know why? You know why? Cuz they want one so bad and their numbers are going up so bad. But the sad part about it is they'll put one in and we'll the company the company with the country will will crumble in a matter of months. Well, here's what I'll tell you the problem is is you can't put a politician up there and then tell voters why they should like or dislike. That's you know, like you, but if 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 it's their appearance, dude, come on, man. When when you look at a woman, you I don't give a shit who's the most intelligent people that I know. In my and my, my my dad's like a super intelligent guy. He looks on TV and he and he's like, well, you know, he makes a comment about her appearance. He's not some crazy sexist, you know, anti woman shitter. He's making a point. That's what you see. What you see is what you get, and, and you can't fault people for having an opinion about stuff. Are we supposed to be so changed that we're going to look at a chick up on the, up on the, you know, on the dais first of all, and not make a comment first about of all, First of all, if you don't want nobody to stand up about your dress, if you don't want nobody to stand up about, about your dress, cover it up. And then if you don't cover it up, you still, then you got to deal with what I say. Because so, in the social media world, I can make statements that might not jive with your Jive with your emotions or your feelings. You might not like it. Well, that's that's the point. Is I, I, I they're making this wrong turn here to try and tell guys. Well, if there's a speech on here, you better not be making comments underneath. You better not be making comments about her appearance because that's unimportant Hold to on. voters. No, yes, guess what? Guess what? Lies. The whole reason that women voted for um, voted for a guy by the name of Obama, he was handsome. It wasn't just because he was nice to his wife. He was handsome. Okay, wait a minute. Kennedy, he was handsome. Yeah, well, I mean, so I don't want to be told by somebody why this or that. I said to, you know, I'm saying my wife doesn't care. She's looking. I said that Ocasio chick, she's like radical, but she she kind of hot. At least she's kind of decent looking. I wouldn't looking. vote for that motherfucker. If, if well, I don't say I'd vote for her, but I'm I just want to look. see the girl, the girl is running for mayor now. She's Spanish, but she's talking about she's for Where? all on Jackson, in Jacksonville. I'm not voting for her. I would rather not vote. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. I can't stand with anybody. She's a um, Spanish young lady, but I'm like, dude, you ain't, let's, let's be honest. I, I, I ain't mad with you for, for not, I'm not mad with you. What? Do you know what her name is? Um, look look up Jacksonville Mayor Race. Um anybody want to call in? 904-520-0. No, 302 yeah, yeah, 702 Um there is Candace now. Um I saw it, but she's not she, yeah. she, she's not gonna win. He's yeah. he's the the pre polling now has Lenny Curry with like fifty eight percent of the vote. Yeah, the rest I of mean, them are Yeah. Yeah, and Lenny Curry is not a bad mayor. He's not a bad mayor. Alvin Brown is running. Um, Ann Broch is that the one? Uh, Anna Brochy, is that yeah, her name? Yeah, that I her? think yeah. That's her. Yeah, Lopez. Right, Bro- right there. Dude, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. But he is ripping her in ads on TV. Yeah, man. but Woo. and then she don't like it. My daddy once said, "If you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing." Else. Well, your daddy wasn't playing this game. Let me tell you something. You know what my mama told me when I was growing up? The first thing she told me when I was leaving the door to go to go leaving the door. You know what she told me? Motherfucker hit you, you better hit him back. <laughs> I'm just telling you. My mama told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you know what I told my daughters when, when they were leaving school the first day? Motherfucker hit you, you better hit him back. <laughs> Where I come from, one fight, we all fight. Those are the things I taught my daughter. So if you jump on one of my daughters, you best be knowing you finna get jumped. Because ain't none of them. I don't care if she winning, all three of them better jump on you. Because we are we, we going to stand together in dirt or in blood. Now make your mind up. Hey, what's up with the, this phenomenon of these videos of black women? They're younger girls fighting in all these places. I mean, it's like a big business now, these videos. Well, 
let me see some world style hip hop made yeah. that big. And, oh, um, did, did you see the one yesterday with a naked lady walking down the street? Holy shit, that was awesome. It was in Chicago, and I mean, it was cold. Did, yeah. did you see her? Yeah. It was snow. She was yeah. naked, had boxing gloves on, and was punching the windows every time she pulled up to somebody. She wasn't too terribly bad looking, from what I could I see. Didn't, I she didn't had see kind that. of a nice body. I, saw, I didn't see that one. Yeah. Oh my but god. But I'm gonna tell you what I did see. I saw. Um, <laughs> I see. Um, let me tell you something. You got. We are just. We 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 just. We love foolishness. And. World Star Hip Hop has made it so accessible. The internet has made it so accessible. You know what I'm saying? Made it so accessible to um to basically see what time it is. See see how see how ignorant we are in pro in, in 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 public. It's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. And the sad part about it is, ugh, I'm almost wanting to see somebody just burn the whole thing down. How long do you think this world would last if if internet was taken away? I don't know, but there'd be some people really um, w- 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 in trouble. Here's the lady, by the way. I mean, it's crazy, man. The stuff that we watch, man. The stuff that we watch. We're going to watch this video right now, guys. It's cold as shit out there. Yeah. I mean, look at the snow on the ground. And <laughs> she's just walking down the middle of the road. Yeah. Is she barefooted? Great? Yeah, she's barefooted. She's walking up. It is. <laughs> what in the cold? Watch. With the boxing gloves on. <laughs> get a close up. Are they going to get close up? And she is, I mean, it's cold as shit. <laughs> and then she punched the guy's window. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. It's crazy. She got fan speed, though. <laughs> then she need it. She's doing little jumping jacks what there. in the head? <laughs> It, well, I guess you got to stay warm some kind of way. I guess so, man. He, I, I'd have had to. If it was me, I'd have had to turn the corner. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't have left that one. I had to, I'd have had to get close up to her. I'd have, first of all, because I'm a man, I'd have had to get close up just to see if her nipples really look nice. Yeah. <laughs> she I'm, had to come from somewhere. I wonder where she I'm came gonna from. I'm going to tell you all right now. I, they had this ad up on the other day. It said, um, says, Tom, Tom, Tom and Terry were drunk one night. They ended up having sex. Terry woke up and decided that she did not she she had been raped, and her and Tom were drunk. I said, and this Tom is now being is now being put on trial. I say, oh, but that couldn't have been me, because if they'd have called me, I'd be like, hey, me too, bitch. I feel like I was getting I, hey hey both of us going to jail for the same charge. <laughs> I'm just saying, you ain't finna get me like that, Pimpin. Both ah ah. Both of us going to jail tonight. A rape kit. I need a rape kit done. I need a rape kit done. I need a rape kit done. If if if, if we both going to jail, hey, if we both was drunk, I feel like both of us need a rape kit done. Definitely. I'm just saying. It, it's getting crazy out here, man. Between the feminist movement, the LBGT movement, and the gay and um and um the Me Too movement, you can't even look at a woman's ass no more. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm telling you, you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You I came, mean, you came, watch it. You, you come, um, you can, I, I mean, I, it's sad. I remember there was a time when, when you could say something nice, like, you know, those jeans really look nice on you today. You're going to, you may you lose your job over that shit now. Yeah, no. You will lose your gig. Do you realize that? Yep. Now, you, I want. It should be against the law for you to go get fake ass and titties put in and get mad when I look at them. Right. I'm just saying, you wouldn't have got, you wouldn't have got, you wouldn't have got, you, and, and most of the times I might not be looking because I think it's cute. Have you seen some of these fake asses on some of these girls? My wife worked at the Hard Rock, and you should see how many of them got the injections in their butt. And some of them with big asses already. She had a friend. Put, got... Well, I don't know what they put in there, silicone, whatever. The, they inject the ass to make it bigger. And I saw that girl, and I was like, man, that is ridiculous. I bet her legs, uh, leg dad, like, she's like a bug's life. She, <laughs> she, it's weird. Well, it's way out of proportion, but, I, it, you know, I don't know. That's just a little crazy. That's a little well, crazy. It is, that like a bug's life. That's crazy stuff. Built up, best, built up like sin. I'm just saying. 
Kaepernick. Um, uh, my say, sir, sir, um, so he laughing at the naked black woman walking down the street, mental illness maybe. I'm not, we not laughing at her in the sense that we laughing at her, but it's, I don't give a damn what you say. If she walk, it's crazy. It's crazy. We don't, let me tell you something. I laugh at the most inappropriate stuff. I have a dark sense of humor. My comedy is dark. Well, you mean you can't laugh at the a, a, a naked lady walking well, down the street with well, boxing gloves? It almost look, doesn't look real. It looks right. like a stage. Yeah. Somebody's doing it for a well, video. One of, my, one, one of the people on the, um, on the watch party said, so he laughing at the naked naked black woman walking down the street, huh? That's basically what, where I'm, where I'm entirely terminating. Mental illness, maybe. Well, maybe mental illness, but <laughs> so, is, so is homosexuality. I laugh at that, too. I'm just saying. That, that, just because they took it off the list don't mean I agree it should be taken off. Have you do you, have you noticed that <laughs> to laugh at stuff that is funny is now a sin? Right. Well, that's what these comedians talk about all, all the time. That that uh, you know, com- comedians can, get, can just cruise through, and, and all of a sudden they hit something gay. That's you, that, you can't say nothing about gay. You can't say nothing about gay. You can't never. You can't say nothing about gay, or say that a woman. Is wrong. Like, like, um, there's a video. There's there's a video of time when Whitney, um, what's her name? The View. Is it The View? Where all them um, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, and yeah. All? And they were talking about. You could put it up on YouTube. They were talking about domestic violence. A man should never hit a woman. A man should never hit a woman. And I'm like, that's a lie. Man, should, there there comes a time. There's, there comes a time when, boy, there comes a time when if you hit me, well, I think it is real, um, the real stands against, okay. I know it's Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg says that, um, Whoopi, put in that Whoopi Goldberg, right, Whoopi Goldberg was talking about how um, if you don't hit, no, right there, right there, nobody should hit nobody. I think that's it. And they went bananas. And the, the, watch the watch the other little chick over there, man. Watch it. Turn it up where people can hear it. I don't, I don't know how this kid Stephen A. Smith. I, I don't like him at all. I want to domestically violent him. Be, <laughs> commit domestic violence against him. I want to fight him for no reason. Y'all can't hear it. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Good morning. On Friday, speaking right here on First Take on the subject. Let me just skip him. She said I hit him, and I believe that's what Stephen is pointing at. I just want to say, for a man, yes, hitting a woman in life. Just what you're talking about? What? I'm sorry. He knocked her out. He knocked her out. Listen, I'm sorry. If you hit somebody, you cannot be sure you are not going to get hit by Adam. Because turn it up. No, 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 no. Hit up. See the, see, see the black girl over there? The blackest boy, chick. And you mm-hmm. grow up with a little si- a sister, and your mother says, no, you can never hit her. And she's like this, and she's hitting you all the time. You say, mommy, mommy. She, well, you know what? I'm sorry. If you hit her, if, no. You have to teach women. You have to teach women. Do not, do not put your hands on anybody. Do not, let, let me just, let me. See, you, but you see, you see these motherfuckers out here? These are the ones that want to make the same amount of money as me and tell me how to be a man. You have to teach women. Do not live with this idea that men have the chivalry thing still with them. Right. Don't assume right. that that's still in place. Right. You know so that? don't be surprised if you hit a man and he hits you back. You don't hit. It, it well, it says my problem. See. You hit somebody, they hit you back. Okay, don't be surprised. Okay. No I'm gonna give it to you like this, though. I made this statement so long. I said, y'all, I'm so sick of these women that make this make this assumption that they they have the right to pass a lick but not catch one. You cannot, you cannot, there should not be, a, there should be a no law against how I react, only for how I act. Because if you hit me and I react by hitting you back, I don't give a damn how hard I hit you. You should know that you shouldn't hit me in the first place. Maybe you know what my grandmama told me? 
at an early age, and I love this. I, she didn't tell me she showed us. My cousin, we, her nickname is Fatty, and Grandmama loved Fatty. Fatty was her baby. Fatty was a twin. And Fatty bit Grandmama. She bit the, she got these new teeth. They was coming in, and she bit the dog shit out of Grandmama. Grandmama was a high yellow woman, mulatto girl. And Fatty was a light-skinned girl. Grandmama bit the dog shit out of Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> fatty broke the skin. Grandmama broke the skin. Oh, man. <laughs> fatty never, I don't think she ever bit nobody else in Bet life. Bet she didn't. She bit, dude, she bit a yelp out of her. <laughs> <laughs> she bit a yelp out of her. <laughs> And the problem is that we are no longer holding each other accountable for bullshit. You let you, and, and when you see those women sitting around, see those women. There's never a reason to hit a woman, bitch, please. Unless your life is in. Let me tell you something. How many guys are dead right now because a woman hit them and they dead? It was only an accident. You ain't finna make that. You, there's not gonna be an accident where I'm concerned. You hit me, we hit. If you hit, I made a statement to somebody today. If me and you in an argument, John, and you walk into my personal space, I'm going to hit you. And they go the same for a woman. If you walk into my, if we in an argument and you walk into my personal space in an aggressive manner, oh, we going to be bumping in there. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to dust off what skills I got left and I'm going to use them to the best of my ability. Because one thing you will not do is try to make me feel wrong for defending myself. That's wrong. So they say, um, Justice Smoot's brothers say um, Justice Smoulette paid them to participate in an alleged attack, source says. There it is. There it is. And it was on, like, the, the main news site. So if it's a lie, they're telling it. Um, my, my boy, one of my, my guys, Henry, says, so women, so many ladies want to be equal until, it, until they hit you and you give them equal treatment. See what people, and, and I say that all the time. Everybody want to be equal to equality come out. You know what I'm saying? When equality show up, you know what I'm saying? When equality show up, it's ugly around him. You hear me? When equality show up, it really get ugly. And, and I make that statement because I think that so many. I tell my daughters quick. Look, let me tell you something. That's a man. You know that, right? And if you push him to a place where he got to be a man. I might have to come by there and show him how, show him I'm a man too. But you made this go this way. Had a woman tell me, you better not da 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 da. I'ma send my brothers over here. I said, well, if you send them, you better be, you better be sending the ones you don't give a damn about. Send the ones you don't give a fuck about. Because if you send the ones you care about, I'ma break your heart. You better send that one that you don't really like. Because that's the problem. Too many, too many women nowadays will get. We'll, we'll do stuff that I look at and say, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? That you think that you are this, this man who has fought his whole life for this little bit of little bitty place in this world that's called manhood. It's going to let you take it away from him. Do you really believe that? That this man who is, listen. I fought my whole life. I fought my whole life through molestation by a male and a female. I've been molested by both. And I'm the guy that will tell you, I will fuck you up, male or female, about me. And they got, oh, you afraid of a man. I ain't scared of nobody. But I ain't finna let you hurt me. Because where I come from, I know dirt. I know how ugly it is on for both both people can be ugly they have the they have the ability to be ugly 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 and our problem is women have this super disbelief that they're uh, not all women but let's say not all women we're not gonna say all women there's a group of women that feel like they have this 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 superhuman amount of they should be able to get away with shit that i can't but if it's a man's world 
you got to deal with how it come. I'm going to handle it like a man would. I don't know how to handle it like a woman. I used to just walk away. Hell no. I ain't walking nowhere. If I got to, if, if. If I gotta what if I gotta put ice on my eye like this, you gotta put ice on it. Both of us gonna be like this when the police come. Just know this. Both of us gonna be like this here. And I think that's only fair. But you these are the things that are being put on us by the LVGT, the Me Too, and the feminists. You see those women, did you see the action the woman had with Whoopi Goldberg? And I'm not a big Whoopi Goldberg fan. But dude, she said nobody should ever hit anybody. Was she wrong for that? Yeah, she was right on point there. But they're overkilling it because it's um yeah, what was that guy's name, that that football player that was Rice. Being, right, Ray Rice. Is he still is he still out no, of football or is he back no, in? He's still out of football and him and him and the girl are married. Yeah. Him and that girl are married. See but the problem is we nosy as fuck, man. We nosy. We are nosy nosy. You know too what I'm many, saying? Too many cameras, man. They're everywhere. We nosy. Can't uh, can't escape it. You know we are nosy, nosy. And the bad part about it is, we are nosy, and we 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 can't we we, we won't. <laughs> Everybody think you know the problem is, all of a sudden the, the people that are Christians want to tell you how to be moral when they were the ones that did all the killing in the in the first place. Anybody remember the Christian Crusades? Listen. A Catholic Church is the most evil institution on the planet, bar none. <laughs> bar none. Did you hear that Pope? Did the Pope? What, what the Pope? Man, pull up what the Pope said about you, Donald Trump in the fence, man. I, man, I'm gonna have so much fun with this tonight. Pope, whatever said that. Uh, what did the Pope say about the fence? He said something about the fence. I made a post. I said, Vatican. Wall excuse for border wall. Um, Pope Francis um, to criticize. Yeah. yeah, here it is. That's it. You know this guy was a bouncer in a bar was at one he? point in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I know he. I know he's a force. No, he's the Pope. He was a bouncer in a bar. Yeah, I know he's a. I know he's a. I know he's a. He's a waste of my time and life. But um, they actually banished some whatever the found the guy guilt you know like this cardinal in new york or, or washington dc of molesting boys and they banished him from the church Ooh, <laughs> should be locking those guys up but you know what the problem from, is they can't they can't you know what i'm saying I, now regina re, re, i have a lady in regina i love regina regina is like me and her we, we debate and she makes me think of stuff and think think things over Make me see things differently, and I want to ask Regina. I would love for you to call in and, and make and, and, and for more and give a woman's perspective on that, if you will. We don't have to put all your name out there, but call in nine zero four three zero two seven two two zero. We won't put your picture up or nothing. I just want to hear. You listen, and we'll, and, and the phone number again is nine zero four five zero two. No three zero two three zero two nine zero nine zero four nine zero four three zero two. Seven two two zero. I'm always giving my phone number, almost mixing both numbers. And listen, we don't talk about the consequences. Consequences have been thrown out the window, like the Pope, the Pope talking about the, the wall. I don't have a problem with Trump building the wall. I don't have a problem with it. I don't particularly care. I feel like this: if you're gonna spend my five billion dollars on something, it should be something that's America's getting use out of. Stop sending it to Israel. Shit, you talking about the wall, and they should be doing war in Flint. Stop sending Israel money. Three billion a year. Every year you send them three billion dollars. All I know is we, the biggest tax cut in in, in the American history happened, and I got a five thousand dollar refund last year, and I got to write a check to this prick for four grand on April fifteenth. Who? Me. I got to write him a fucking check. Who? Trump. You ain't writing for Trump. You writing for the, the World Bank. Yeah, well, you ain't right. Trump don't he's building it. a fucking wall, and I got a tax increase. You, it, it flipped nine grand. Yeah, but how the fuck did it flip nine grand if the biggest tax cut in history happened? Anyway, it was the biggest tax increase yeah, in my life, not in my you. fucking life. But, it, but it's not for you, white guy. You're you're not a rich white guy. You're struggling. Hey, John. Fucking bullshit. John, John. Yeah, I know. I'm John, clear. I'm not a rich John, white guy. John, John. I may be a nigga, but you're white trash. You, you, you <laughs> right about that, man. 
You write about that. I get reminded of that every fucking minute. But, but guess How the what? fuck do they but have guess, a tax cut? But guess and my what you tax got? went up nine thousand dollars. It changed. But goddamn it, guess what you got? Fucking, I don't have a gun, and you I should. You got white privilege, fucker. Yeah, you goddamn right, I do. <laughs> that fucking card. They can't take that motherfucker from me. <laughs> fucking pull that bitch out. And go to the grocery store. <laughs> Can I scan my white privilege card in? Cause I, can I get bonus points for it? You sure can. You white as fuck, man. You haven't been in the sun in a while, but God damn it, you get extra points today. Uh, extra points today I'm for that white privilege. You. I'm done with you right now. Yeah, man, I'm good. I went through the drive through Burger King. That was for the 1% my man Henry said. I said, um. I'd Henry, like, you're a finances guy. Why don't you call in? Let's talk about that. 904-302-7220. You're a finances guy. Let's talk about that because... Yeah, explain to me how my taxes went from five thousand well, dollars. Well, you make less than two hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, don't I know that? Jesus, ridiculous, ridiculous! I have to pay eight hundred bucks a month in Obamacare. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! How great is that that insurance, by the way? Six thousand dollar deductible, thirteen thousand dollar out of pocket. And I got to write a check for 800 bucks. You know how much I used to pay to go to the doctor when I was working? Um, pick that up, man. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, brother? What's going on, man? Let's talk about this top 1% right quick. Hold on. But you remember when I'm, there was once a time when I worked, when I was working in Winn-Dixie Warehouse, my copay was $15? Yeah, right. Well, That's my whole copay. Yeah. Well, and guess what? I didn't have a problem getting insurance either because I got it through my job. Right. So here's my problem. So when Obama came along and did Obamacare, who did he help? Who did, did he help? The rich people? Did he help the rich? Rich white people who own these insurance companies. Thank that you. guy that Molina Healthcare I'm writing a check to, I looked that fucking guy up. That guy's uh, salary last year was thirty-six million dollars. Why does a, a fucking insurance executive need to get a salary of thirty-six million dollars? Collecting eight eight hundred dollars a month from me because I'm too afraid to not have insurance on my wife and then have her get cancer or something and then she dies because you'll never get treatment and you'll never get insurance so i'll just keep getting paid that is ridiculous i'm the i make the most amount of money in, in my in my job i'm the top dog and i can't afford the the family health insurance it's twelve hundred dollars a month hey. addition hey hey, hey henry crazy hey, hold on one moment i want you to hear me say this so, I don't care. Now you know it's like you're a black guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't like it, man. I want my white privilege back. Yeah, you got I want it. fucking white you privilege got it, card. But guess that shit. It don't work on insurance no Fucking more. white privilege card cost me four grand this year. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> shit, man. It's an expensive. It used to come free. I had that shit free when I was born. Silver spoons. I got a white privilege card. God hey, damn it. Hey, now you got a white privilege card. but with, with Fucking alone, ain't doing anything good right man, now. Along that white privilege card. But you know what, what does come with that? You don't get shot by the cops. Um, you, you um, you, you get couple out. of bonuses, yeah, right? You, you get some nick. You got, yeah. you, you've taken advantage of them a few lately. I have, yeah. I have. So I've been pulled over a few times, yeah, drinking right. and driving, and they just said, "You got a white privilege card?" And I said, "Yeah, it's in the glove compartment. Don't worry about it, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go find some black guy. <laughs> I, I trust you got it. See, that's part of white privilege. White privilege is so good, you, you don't have to show the fucking car. card. <laughs> you just fucking tell them, and they see you. The guy, let me go. Oh God, hey. But that is, and we make we make like this is our we're making fun of making fun and this is our dark inside humor. But the sad part about it is, this is going on. And Henry, you were saying the top one percent got the price cut, and yes, the top one percent in the businesses. Those those are the, the, the top business owners, not just small business. They're right, top one percent, and and the you know those huge companies like the Bank of Americas and things right. like that. Those are the ones that got those. Thir- Thirty million people had a yeah. different, um, had a different, had less money, or didn't get a refund, or had to pay. Thirty million people changed yeah. what what they got. Thirty million people got l- way less than they did last year, and that tax cut, which is the the country is borrowing money to pay for. That's the first time we've ever had a tax cut where you we're borrowing the money to pay for the tax cut. And, and I'm I'm looking at that turbo. Ta- I'm do, I'm watching the thing go up. I I put in the you know the Obamacare because they 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 gave, they supplemented the the uh, income you know because I I got a different job and I make a little bit more money. But I, I hit this threshold, and when I hit this threshold, now I have to pay the whole premium. So I owe them thirty three hundred back. So my tax bill's four thousand dollars. And I saw that thing spinning around. and going, they ain't got a white privilege button on this turbo tax nope. anywhere to push. 
They don't give a shit, man. No, when it comes to this shit, you boy. White, you white, but you ain't white enough. I mean, you got to be white. You got to be old white. You got to yeah. be able to track your life uh, back to um, the first century. I'm clear that what I am, man. I'm just a poor white guy they can kick around for four grand. I'm telling you, you ain't getting his money till 11.59 on the 15th. Though. I'm <laughs> clicking that button when that fucking <laughs> clock hits 59 and with it. If I could send a text with it, a picture of Trump and a fuck you. Well, dude, listen to me. No offense. Here's the bad part about it. The issue that a lot of folk don't get, a lot of black folk got that tax cut. And those are the ones that you really have to watch out for. What do you, Am I lying about that? You hear me? That's true. That's definitely true. I know a lot of black folk that got that tax cut. I know a lot of black folk that got a tax cut. And they got it. And you, you talk to them, oh, this country's awesome. I'm going to give you one. Did y'all see um, Mayweather go shopping? Yeah. At Gucci. Yep. Did y'all yeah. see that? Yeah. All in all yeah. of niggerdom, I have never in my life been so ashamed. You know what I'm saying? Somebody called us nine one two. Can't put you on hold. Yeah. Champ, you, you got to know too that um, that Mayweather is doing that purposely because he want to be one of the most hated people by right. black people. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he think like he got he feel like he got a white privilege card, but once 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 like they threw it, decide to stop supporting his company and his boxing and yeah. stuff and his fighters, then guess what? He'll change that attitude. Thank you. He gonna change it. Well, man, thanks for calling in. All righty, brother. All right, bro. Let's go. Go. Let's call it nine one two number back. I'm trying. Somebody call from nine one two 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 four. I'm gonna call. I'm calling it back. You're calling you back. Nine one two 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 four. Hello. Hey. Hello. How you doing? Who goes there? <laughs> this is Regina. How you? Do- mm-hmm. Look, look, Regina. Look, we gonna keep our personal business personal tonight. We're not gonna argue. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice to you a little bit. Please be nice. All right, I'm gonna be nice. Okay, Regina. So you say you say you're talking about the consequences. Her hitting, she hit that hit that man. She I heard she spit in his face. The Ray Rice thing. I heard she spit in his face. Well, I mean, from all of us looking at the video, we can only go by what we saw. We didn't hear. So right. I mean, if she spit on him, I think that's probably the worst thing a person can do to you, and it would cause me probably to react. But we don't know what happened in that elevator. I think it was. But he it's... knocked her. He knocked her. This is the thing. He knocked her out, and then he dragged her out. But no, I think he couldn't leave her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, would I'm, have been worse if he know, had just left her yeah. in the elevator? Yeah. Or would yeah, it, was yeah, it better yeah, that yeah, he dragged her out? I think she said yeah. she spit on him. She, I think yeah, I, 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 they had an interview. She said they were, they were going through it. She spit. Look, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this. Unless we neck it, don't you spit on me. I'm going to leave that out there where it is. I'm going to let that sim let that sim out there in the atmosphere. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. <laughs> me too. <I'm> just... <laughs> well, I, I agree that you should never put your hands on anybody. You know, so consequences, because there are cameras everywhere, and then you are a celebrity, you have to be really careful what you do. Y'all remember, y'all remember right, when, um, Jay, when Solange, when y'all remember Solange broke out in the elevator kicking Jay Z's ass? <laughs> y'all remember that? Yeah. Oh, she was kicking yeah, his ass. I wish I was the security guard who recorded it. I'm like, this boy, she was getting his ass, ass. Hear me? I'm, and and somebody was like, y'all can hear Jay Z in the background. Like, get B, get a B, get a B. My ass. B was B was like drunk and drunk and love. I'm like, didn't you go? Whatever sp- Jay Z did, he knew he was wrong. Yeah, he didn't I heard. I heard it was about. Nor did Beyonce. Beyonce didn't stop her. She didn't say, "Hold on, sis, that's my that's my husband." But see, I'm. We're I'm, not gonna put our hands on my husband. Uh, you know, I, yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm the other guy. I'm 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 gonna lose a whole lot of shit that night because I'm I might. You are. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> are we gonna be, we gonna be we gonna be in this bitch. But I'm gonna fight both of y'all. I'm I'm I'm. Look, look. All I can say is this: <laughs> I am not responsible for the way that I respond. And I'm telling you, first of all, I told I to fire my security. 
I'd have fired him. He can he couldn't work for me no more. Cause I'd have been just gonna let her do it too. She would beat him up up. You know I mean she was throwing sets sets on him. I think yeah, but you know what? I, I heard through the grapevine somebody who knows the whole situation. They what was the girl named? The girl that does all the cooking, the cooking show. The white girl that does the cooking. Uh, Rachel, Rachel Ray. No, no, no. You heard wrong. That's a different. You talking about Rachel Roy? Yeah. So the rumor was he was messing around with Rachel War- Rachel Roy, who used to have a relationship with Damon Dash. Right. So that that was, that was one whole, thing I, mean, I heard. The same thing. Yeah, but I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, but dude, they they've been swapping girls for years because they they got yes yeah they they do they they get on like that they get on like that I I mean whatever the reason was he knew what it was and I, I, I a lot of people like they respect him for not they respect him for not um. For not this or not that, I'm just that other guy, man. I can't take you. Just this. A, you're a totally different nigga, huh? No, I'm not gonna you have to beat her down in that elevator like she stole something. I'd have still been beating her when the police showed up. <laughs> I can't with you. I'd have still been look. Carry on, listen. I can't. I'm just saying. I come on, wait a minute. You don't get to beat me up. You don't get to kick my ass, and then we friends tomorrow. You are not gonna hit me. Is what you're not gonna do. I mean, look, are we watching the video right now? Who's the guy? Is that a security That's guy? That's security. I'm like. He's a little slow on the yeah. draw there. You ain't breaking. Well, she already threw some punches. You're not breaking this shit up in the fast. Yeah, first of all, put yourself between her and me. She was kicking. See her kicking? See her kicking? Oh, we fight. I do, but did any of that really hurt him? I don't care. Oh, my God. That's the whole, you know, my problem is, my problem is women uh, keep saying that, women keep mm-hmm. saying did it, did it hurt? What did this hurt? You don't know how it made me feel, and that's the problem. We we men are men are expected if well it didn't hurt, man. You put your hands on me, man. The very fact that you put your hands on me shows that I respect. We no longer respect each other. We don't respect each other, and I'm done that's having true. this discussion with you. With you hitting me, so take this with you. And I mean, I mean to win. I refuse to lose. I look. Every loss I got, I earned it. But I had a chance to fight back, right, wrong, otherwise. Every time I lost a fight, I lost standing up on my feet. I'm not going to lay down on my – look, a friend of mine once told me something a long time ago. He said, son, let me tell you something. You done fought – you done kicked ass all over the world. I don't see you allowing somebody to kick your ass here. Not in your own house. Not where I live. Not, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you. I'm telling I'm you, not, I'm, you. I'm just saying. No, no, I'm, and I'm not. I'm, when I'm screaming, I'm, I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at the situation. That no, stop it. Nah, you yelling? Not you. Not at you. This is not. This is not meant for you. This is. This is. Look, this is not meant for you. Mm-hmm. This is not meant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and um, listen. Here's what. I, here's what, I, what I'm trying to get everybody to see. I'm trying to get everybody to understand this. For so long, women were allowed to hit men and get away with it because. They were seen as the weaker vessel, right or wrong. True. Now we're equal. And where I come from, if you equal to me, whatever you do to me, I'm allowed to do to you. Is that right or wrong? Hmm. Come on now. Tell me. Come on. I don't know. I'm from I'm from a totally different generation. And I see more of women hitting men versus how I grew up with women and men. There wasn't a lot of women hitting men. There was a lot of men abusing women. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. I, I made this thing. There you go. I, 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 let me tell you something. I got an auntie. She's dead now. She's been dead for well over 40 years. I, I never met her, but she's like, she's a, she is a, I think her name was Bernice or Gertrude. Well, I had two, a couple of them that I never met. They died. died. She killed two men. She killed Two, let, let me let me say that slow. She killed two husbands. One of them, they, they was in a fight, and she, they, the legs were passed, and he slapped her, and she she rolled down the steps. She climbed back to the top step and stabbed him to death. So women in my family didn't get beat on. You didn't beat the women in my family. That wasn't happening. So. I'm so sick of women saying, well, my mama got beat. I'm thinking to myself, you had a soft mama because my, my mama my mama and my grandmama, they, they weren't going for that. You hit my mama, grandmama. You know what my grandmama told one? 
You know what my grandmama said one one time? I heard her joking one of her friends outside. Grandmama Estelle, Estelle. Grandma Estelle said, my mama's mama. She said, girl, that motherfucking me was fighting last night, and I, I I hit him in the head with a pot. My grandma said, couldn't have been me. He wouldn't have hit me, not and went to sleep. <laughs> Did you hear me, Regina? He wouldn't have hit me, not and went to sleep. My grandma, I heard my grandmama say, bitch, you ain't never broke no glass up and put it in his plate. Huh? What the hell going on in your family? My grandmama, she didn't play that. She didn't play that, bro. She so when women and I keep hearing all these women making this out to be like they were so taken advantage of, and you know what I'm saying, so so taken advantage of, and and there were such victims in this thing. I'm thinking to myself, Nah, Jack, not the women in my family. Nah, not not them, not them high yellow women that was that was that was went around with us. My grandmama wasn't having it. You hit my grandmama. I'm going to give you one even better. I told, told the story before. My grandmother had one brother. My, I had one uncle, one great uncle. His name, was, his name was Leroy Uncle Bubba Harrison. He was the only boy in the family. He was the youngest. Good looking man. Thin. Had, looked like he thin. Looked like, um, looked like Elder Barge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, mm. you know, all mulattoes over there. The whole family over there was mulatto. And looked like Elder Barge. I'm talking about clean, thin as a rail. Women loved him. He had a, had a, had a, had a, had a, yay, come here, baby, let me talk to you. Had that kind of thing going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the men in my family had r- raspy voices, like my Uncle Bobby T. Uncle Bobby T sounded like, he, he sounded like Louis Armstrong. Hey, baby, look, let me talk to you. <laughs> All of them, they, had, they worked hard jobs, and, but they, 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 was, they smoked Pall Mall cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> the worst cigarettes yeah, you could smoke. Pall Mall or Camel. They smoked those kind of my cigarettes. Yeah, my dad was a, Winston, was a Winston's guy. And, and I look and I say, I remember my grandma and her brother got in a fight. I was seven years old. Off, off the corner of Church and Broad Street, Grandma and Uncle Bubba was on the front porch drinking. He called her a bitch. And she said, look here, Junior. Look, look here, Bubba. I ain't going to beat you, Junior, whatever she called him. Junior, either Bubba. What, what your, I ain't going to beat too many more bitches now. He said, what you, well, fuck it in, bitch. They were, they were the alcohol and got, they got the best of him. He forgot who he was talking to. Because <laughs> Lily Mae was not having it. Let's get that established. And if Lily Mae spit on the floor, before if she told you, watch your mouth and spit on the floor, you was finna fight the next time. She she said something to you. He called her bitch again. I never forget hearing her spit and spit on the floor. It commenced to kicking his ass. And she was kicking his ass in such a manner. The only way he could get her off between hollering and screaming was to stab her in the head with an ice pick. What is going on in your house? Uh, your I can't make this up. I ain't that good. Okay. She, she stabbed her in the head with an ice pick, and she can't run in the house. And they call the policeman. They call the police. And the ice pick was still stuck in the top of her head when the police came. And they could not take him to jail. You know why? Because she kicked his whole ass to the point that he looked like he had been beat up by another man. Wasn't no men beating up no women like that when I grew up. <laughs> Not in my family. They just wasn't. I, I mean, I know my mama got jumped before with this, that, and other, but I do had to jump. He jumped out a tree and hit my mom with a stick. And that you just didn't beat the women up in my family like that. First time I ever seen somebody get knocked out, a man get knocked unconscious, my mama did it. Dude, <laughs> I don't get it. And, and 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 when I hear women talk about, oh, it was so horrible in my family, I'm like, shit, not mine. <laughs> not mine. Women ran the house where, I, where I come from. Y'all all fighting each other. Fight nothing. Fight. Fight. First fight. First of all, all lies, we never fight. fought that's them. What, we fought them is, off. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna let you go. I, there, mm-hmm. there was a there was a guy. There was a guy. He used to, he was a booster. You know what a booster is. I know you know what a booster is, don't you? 
I'm older than you. But you, you know the boost deals, right? You know the boost deals. All right, you know the boost deals. But this dude was a bo- he was a booster deluxe. He didn't just steal stuff out of stores. He would go steal whole trucks. He stole a Royal Crown truck with all the soda on the back. <laughs> what did he do with it? <laughs> Let's get this established. He stole it broad daylight and drove down through the hood to my auntie's house. <laughs> And gave my auntie like, cause my auntie always looked out for him. He said, "I'ma be." He said, "Look at, look at my Thelma." He said, "Auntie Thelma, look at my Thelma. I'ma, I'ma drop these sodas off, cause you always look out for me. So I'ma look out for you and the kids." And it was summer. It was the summertime. I never forget it, cause it was hot outside. I had no shirt on, just shorts and no shoes. It was hot, and that was that was our that was our that was our summer attire. You put on a fresh pair of shorts, no shirt, no shoes. That's how you played all day, and. Smell like you always smell like pennies when you come in the house because you be all musky. But um, <laughs> Aunt Thelma say, "Red," that meant me. Come on, go to the store for me. Give me, give me, give me five dollars worth of liverwurst, five dollars worth of Lux Spice Ham, five five dollars worth of that bologna, and give me, give me five, give me six dollars worth of cheese, and and bring me some crackers and give me two loaves of bread. And some sandwich spread. <laughs> sandwich spread. So you know, the sandwich spread was the one that, that, that was pickle relish and mayonnaise mixed together. Yeah, it was yes. pink. That shit made that the best sandwich. Yes. But the cheese she wanted was the hoop cheese with the red rind on it. She wanted me yep. to get $6 of that. And get her. To, her thumb was like 600 pounds. She was trying to lose weight. So she didn't want no bread. So she was going to eat some crackers with hers. So. I get off, I take off the Eddie B store. I run down, I run across Jefferson, run down across Monroe, um, or Madison, run across Madison, and then I run across, run across um, Davis to the store. Three blocks away, but one block real long. So I get there, and I get all the stuff, give him the food stamp book. He take his food stamps out, give me the rest of it back. I run back. Now, mind you, these guys left all these sodas, left so many sodas. In the bottle, that they stacked up taller than I am. So I'm thinking, say, go over there and get you a, a uh, get you a soda. Everybody else not had theirs. I said, yes, ma'am. She <laughs> said, go get some ice out the back. So I got a uh, got a clear, the, the clear solo cups. I had a clear solo cup. I go in the back. I get me some ice, and I open. I got my soda open in my right hand, holding my ice in my left hand, and my cousin, that mean helper, coming in the back, say, Red, give me some of your soda. Now, mind you. This the baddest bitch in the world. When they ever say the baddest bitch, when they say that about Trina, that's a lie. Because she don't know my little girl, know my girl cousin. I would call her name, but her sons, remember her th- two sons that came here, John, talked about their music? Yeah. That, they mama. They're those two boys mama. And she, she, was, she was that cousin that we had like 30 of us in the family. We was the family. If you broke out fighting with us, all of us was coming around there. And you always got that one girl cousin that be holding the baby on her hip and say, you better fight him too. That was her. <laughs> so I got my soda in the right hand, and I got my ice in the other hand. She said, Red, give me some of your soda. I said, no, you had one. I'm from you, you had one. She said, yeah, but I want some of yours now. Now, mind you, we all scared of her. We were terrified of her. And she just they say it's because I was dark-skinned, all of the light skin. No, it's because you was mean as fuck, and we know you beat us up. <laughs> She was real strong too, so she was bigger than us, and she was she was not having it. I said, "I'm not giving you my soda." So we go back and forth in the kitchen, and we don't do the tattle tale thing. We never did that. So Auntie said, "I I I could not never forget." I said, "I'm not giving you my soda, no." And I took the bottle. The top was missing off the bottle. We took the top off. I licked the bottle. And stuck my tongue down in the bottle and turned it up. She said, oh, I said, it's my soda. And as I was walking out of the kitchen, my wet back, she took her hand and slapped me in the middle of my back so hard. Do you hear me, Miss Regina? <laughs> she slapped me in the middle of my back so hard, she knocked the holler out of my screen. <laughs> <laughs> hit me. Oh, I said, oh, uh-uh. I didn't even, I, I, she hit me and all. I, 
Not even air came. I'm like. <laughs> I never forget that as long as I live. Y'all remember, remember back in the day you draw, take your hand and put it on the paper for Thanksgiving yep. and draw it. Mm. And, and, and make and a turkey out of it. Make, that was my back look like. All you had to do was put a beat and some legs on it. <laughs> she hit me in the middle of my back so hard. I was holding my soda and my ice and I was running. And I wasn't just crying. She slapped the snot out of me. <laughs> It was me and somebody. <laughs> and I never forget my grandma and my auntie saying it. Both of them were sitting up front. Why you hit that boy in the back? Why? Now she got in trouble. But I never forget what they looked at her and said. Looked at me and said, You gonna let that little bitch kill you? Her exact word. You keep letting her hit you. She gonna kill you one day. You gotta fight her back. She said, I don't care who they is. They hit you, hit them back. Girls too. I was, I, I, I. I heard what she was saying, but I figured I'd pick on another girl because this was not a regular girl. Right. This wasn't a regular girl. <laughs> Just so you know, Miss yeah. Virginia, she was not a regular girl. She was another girl. She was a she was a girl, but she was a boy girl, and we wasn't finna have a that. Yeah, she was a girl, but she was a boy girl. She was a tomboy ish thing, and. She was the one we would go get to fight the little boys in the neighborhood. We, you don't just fight her back, you, because you might need her next week this time. But she hit me so hard to this day. I still tell her, I'm just waiting for the time when you, you try me like that. We're going to be in the mother fighting because I ain't scared of you no more that much. <laughs> and I love her. And I just be joking with her because she's a mother. She got, um, I think, three little, she got three or four kids, th or four kids, three kids. They're beautiful kids. They, she had a beautiful husband, beautiful family. But I look and I think that young lady was the one that my grandmama told me I had the I had the right to hit back. The first time I was ever told that I could hit a girl back, that was the girl she, they were talking about. <laughs> See, nobody want to talk about the fact that little boys are abused and beaten up by little girls more than likely. Because most times little girls grow faster. Talk to my wife. She'll tell you. She beat up dudes in Cuba. Okay. Beat them. She was the one that they would call her, and she would come and beat their ass. There you go. All the time. That was her thing. And you can't like, tell. Really? Yeah, you can't. And Liu is like, I'm like, man, you better sit your ass down for somebody to beat you up. But you got some girls like that out there. Like, look at Lil Bow Wow. That, everybody talking about he hit her first. Nah. Then was defensive nah. wounds. That girl beat him up. Yeah. He might have been talking shit in the yeah. elevator, but she knew it was a camera on the elevator. Know what she was telling him when he, when he was taking the jacket off on the elevator? <laughs> Keep talking, nigga. You wait till we get off this elevator. Ooh, exactly. motherfucker. You wait. Woo! You wait till we get off this elevator. <laughs> wait till we get off this elevator. You hear me? <laughs> Ooh, you wait till we get off this elevator. She got off that elevator. <laughs> that was his ass, Mr. Postman. Uh, <laughs> she didn't have not a marker. Not her. a scratch. Like, hey, dude, you seen a picture in the John like she just got her makeup done. <laughs> and I guarantee you, if the police hadn't come, she'd have still been beating his ass today. True. And, and <laughs> look at his face. Look at her right next to the John. Get the one next to him. Look, yeah, get the one next. Yeah, blow that one up in the middle right there. This one or this look one? Down right there with both of them standing side mm -hmm. by side. Boy, she, boy, look here. I need that bitch on my side. You hear me? <laughs> she didn't have a scratch. Yeah. They've been fighting before. This ain't no new fight. No, no. They've been fighting. They've been fighting. Guess what happened was been fighting. he forgot who she was. <laughs> he forgot who she was, Pimp. I'm telling you, while he was on the elevator talking in front of that camera, they knew the camera was upstairs. But when they got in an apartment, I bet she closed that door behind me and said, what you said, fuck, boy. I can hear her not saying pussy ass nigga. <laughs> Scratching him. Dude. Jeez. Dude. She beat his ass. She beat yeah. that ass ass. Hear me? I can hear him not. And he got arrested too, right? Yeah. She yeah, they both did. But let me tell you something. And everybody talking about, oh, he was talking shit to her in the elevator. How many women talk shit to men in the elevator and they get in the room and a fight break off and he go to jail but she don't? That was unfair. I'm just saying. So well, they what? both went to jail. He shouldn't have went. Well, in Jacksonville, Florida, the one with the marks go to jail. Don't go to jail. Well, I thought it was who, whoever the aggressor was. No, no, they don't know who the aggressor. Mm -hmm. If you if they you call the police on me in Jacksonville and you got the marks and I ain't, 
I'm going to jail. But I'm the other guy. I'm punching myself in the eye, bitch. We both going to jail. As a matter of fact, I'm, I, I'm look, I, I just told you. Didn't, remember, did you hear what I just said earlier about the rape kit? Yeah. I'm I'm telling you. If both of us drunk and you wake up tomorrow and say you ain't want to have sex and you and they trying to put me in jail, oh, I need a rape kit. Yeah, oh, I need a, I need, I need y'all to rape kit on me. Because both of us was drunk. I'm just saying. Both of us were drunk. I need a rape kit. I need look, her DNA is on me too. All and, and, and don't let it happen one of you real drunk. I'm spitting on the on the everything. <laughs> Yo, test all that. You ain't getting me like that. I'm not going to jail like that. I'm telling the truth. Look at Bow Wow. Look at him up here. Look at look at like a tiger scribe um uh, Reese's little Hershey. He kid. got he got a little red under his eye too, right she, there. Dude, those are that, let me tell you something. The, that that is the face of a man that cannot fight. No, he can't fight. No, that is the face of Bow Wow. Wherever you at, man, you need to come take some classes from me. You got. I'm telling. You, I am. I'm telling. You, I am from the slap a whole tribe. I'm just gonna let you know right now. <laughs> oh my God! Good day. That was enough for me to hear. <laughs> he better fight back. Slap a whole tribe. <laughs> he better slap. He better fight back. <laughs> she would. Let me tell you something. She beat his whole ass. <laughs> I mean, look at him. And I like Bow Wow. I like Bow Wow. Bow Wow, you better learn how not let. First of all, this wasn't letting a woman get close. This right here. This right here, we just showed him what the woman talking about. Talking about she, he can never hit her as hard as she hit him. <laughs> I don't know about hit, but she sure dug into him. Didn't she? <laughs> yeah. She probably had them fingernails. She probably had them fingernails with the points on them. You know how women sharpen their fingernails up now? Yep. Oh, she beat him all the way up. Now, Regina, if that was your son, mm -hmm. what would you say? Come on, now. Yeah, nigga, that you beat your ass. <laughs> 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 what the hell? What the hell? She been beating on you? Hey, you ain't reported her yet? Dude, she, look, you know it's bad when, you you know it's bad when she messed your hairline up. Look at his hairline on that bitch. On the left side of that. She messed his hairline up. I'm looking. How'd she make his hairline up? She scratched him all up around the phone. She, that is, she came to get him. That is, somebody, somebody going to tell me, that's defensive wound. <laughs> Bitch, you crazy as hell. Only, only person that was doing something defensively in that room was him. Trying to get her off. He was, he was trying to, hey, I, who called the police? That's all I want to know. If you call the police, she why you, he, who called him? She did. Of course, she ain't no fool. She ain't no fool. No, actually. Actually, his friend left her in a room. And when she got out of the room, she called the police and said what they did to her. So when the police got there, he was fucked up. Tell me what he did. See, let me tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. It's the, look, it's the, like, perfect example. <laughs> it's not always the one. It is not always the one who commit the crime, but who called the police first. That's what it is most cases. Because when you say, say me and you commit a crime, we commit a crime right now, right? Mm -hmm. You Do you know what? They don't particularly care. They don't particularly care if you committed a crime with me. It was your idea. The one who speaks, who talks first, makes the best deal. I'll show you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm talking first. I, I'm call, As a matter of fact, I'd have been dying to pull while she was beating me. I've been screaming on the I've been screaming on the phone. <laughs> I've been, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have called him on Facetime. <laughs> Somebody know what to do. Yeah, you ain't finna get me world, like that. World star hip hop. Yeah, he know what to do. You experience. Yeah, you beating on me. I'm calling them people. Cause my brother, my brother told me something the other month. He said, I'm gonna tell you right now. He say, I ain't no fool. I know I know them folk will take you out of town and hold you and, and, and take away your rights. He said, if, even if you ain't done nothing, they're trying to take your rights away. He said, you hit me. He said, when the police get there, he said, all they're going to they gonna, all they gonna say, what happened? I'm going to show you right here. Look at this video. You ain't going to get me like that. We out here. Can't, but the sad part about it is, you know, we got to do better as a people. God damn, man, she beat him up, up, up. I mean, how, here's my question. Have you heard anything about the Colin Kaepernick um, 
deal? $60 million. That would, that would, they say 60 I heard it was 100 Um, The first thing I read was between 60 and 80 I don't think they released the total amount. Is that, is that settlement presuming that he's never going to play in the NFL again? Or is that just well, for the two years? Play. Yeah, I don't think he's going to play either. So, does the settlement is the settlement supposed to say, "Hey, here's compensation not just for the last two years, or how long has he been out? Two years, right? Five years, right?" Yeah, let's see. I have actually I'm pulling it up right now. Well, five years he's been out. About three. Years. Well, what was he making before he? he, he had a seventeen million. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was seventeen million or something like that. So, but this whatever the settlement is, if he's never going to play again. Then the compensation but what, should be. But what about Eric, the other guy, Eric? Eric well, he's gonna he's gonna sign. Who, Eric? Yeah, yeah, but they gotta cut him a check too. They did, but it's probably not as much because he's gonna be back on a team, you know. Yeah, well, how much? Yeah. Who are you talking about being back on the team? Eric, um, there was you know it was two. It was him and another player. What's the guy? Right. The guy that was on his team, uh, uh, Eric Reed. No, what was the guy's name? Eric Eric Davis or Reed or something like that. Yeah. Was he suspended? I'll put it up, put it up, put yeah, it up. Yeah, hang on, let me find the article. I think he was suspended. Yeah, they, they, they got, yeah, both of them were out. You know what I'm saying? Both of them. Yeah, but you don't really hear much about the Eric guy. Well, no, because it Colin started. Eric Reed. Eric Reed. Eric Reed. Eric Reed. Eric Reed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Eric Reed. Um, but <laughs> here's my question. And I got, I want to be real. I'm joking. I, I, I'm joking my dark sense of humor. But let's let's be real one moment. Does he do? Do you really ever care that he plays football again? I know you want to do what you want to do and do what you love to do. But and I, here's what pissed me off. Did you notice how these motherfuckers kept making it out that he was a mediocre player, but he led his team to the Super Bowl the year before? Yeah, well, that's part of the whole. That's part of the whole. You know, degrade the guy, make it like he was. You, you know, he just wasn't that good, and it uh, didn't make that much of a difference, and all that shit, man. There, listen, this is not a dime different than Ali giving up his career. You know, only thing is he'll never play again. So you know what? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Have you ever noticed how awesome it is to sit back and see the to see how to see how white the, the white guys are on football and basketball teams, how they look at their black players. Well, this is the perfect example of it. Perfect example. You know, do, wait a minute. Um, have, do you know what the average, do you know what the dollar amount difference was between slaves and slave owners back in the day, Regina? I do not. 400, 450, the, the average, the average, the, the average slave owner, the slave owner made 450 times more than the slave. Well, the slaves made nothing. What are you talking about? Okay. Whatever the slave made, each slave, the slave owner made 450 times more than him. Whatever he so made. the slave made $2 for that thing? No, no. Made. Whatever the slave made, which is zero, okay. the slave owner made okay. 450 times that. I can see that. And guess what the, guess what the, guess what, guess what the football player makes? Suppose, uh, makes The football player and the, and the owner of the team difference is. Well, they're all billionaires in the, you know. 450 yeah. to one. I mean, yeah, it's the same number. The same number. Yeah. yeah. Well. You got to pay them. Listen. You got to have your. I listen. The NFL's made it clear that a black man kneeling is far more dangerous than a white man with a gun. Mm-hmm. In the, a white man with a gun in, the, in, in a stadium. That, that's the line that's drawn. When, yeah. when, when, a, when a black man is protesting, kneeling against. Everybody agrees. Not everybody agrees, but most rational people agree that black men are treated so differently. They're shot or killed. All this other stuff's happened. He kneels down to protest, and he's crystal clear, kneeling down in protest of black men getting shot by police officers. And they turned around and said, you're disrespecting the military. What is the mil- How is it the military has full... 100% rights over the flag and the national anthem. How you, when did that become about When does when does the when does the when does the person that you pay their salary mean more than the ones paying the salary? Cuz they don't work that way in in in, in regular world because they know way ahead you going to tell your boss that your rights are bigger than his. Right or wrong, Regina? I mean, you're right, but you got to understand they're not going to let the black man tell them nothing Mm -mm. if i say get up and not kneel that's what i mean 
So it has, you know, they're not going to allow the black Because nothing's changed in 200 years. It's 200, 400. It has 400. not. As a matter of fact, it's, it's worse now. It's, I feel like it's going backwards. Do you realize there are more black men in prison than were in slavery in 1850? Because that's, I mean, what's the wording I'm trying to use? Somebody, Larry Johnson, uh, Larry Johnson. Okay, Larry Johnson. A black man talking about he's a sellout. Let me tell you something. Here's my thing. So basically, he shouldn't take the money. You don't took. I gave my career away. Ali made more money after he came back than he made before. Way more. Way more after. Way more. He made way more money after he came back than he did before he, he went out. And he fought less. I mean. See, my problem is this here. We allow white people to to shape our narrative it wasn't about the money for him but you took but in the process he boycotted and you still took his livelihood regardless if you think that the money he made was enough am i lying regina how do you feel about that i mean and i think you're absolutely right so i'm not you know i'm not arguing with you about that so he stood up for something that took his livelihood that yeah. took money out of the mouths of his family even though he had money in the long run, he's benefiting more now than he would have in the NFL. Even if, let's say, they reversed their decision, do you know how they would have treated him in the NFL? Yeah. He'd be a fool to go back and play. So, exactly. So, no matter what he would have done, let's say he decided, I am no longer going to move. What would have happened is they would have boycotted him from – more than just kneeling. So his whole livelihood would have been changed, and the end result wouldn't have been what he's doing right now. Right. So it's not. It's more than monetary. It's awareness. Dude, do you realize Colin Kaepernick is an, is an albatross now? Dude, do you realize how, how hard it must be for him? People think that because we love him, everybody loves him. Let me tell you something. Do me a favor. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I, I want you to hear this here. I want you to hear this here. Pull up Ali, um, Muhammad Ali um, eulogies. It was more than one eulogy. Which one? It was the one with the black preacher. I don't want the one with Billy Crystal. I want. I don't want the one with Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Uh, um, I, who probably gave a fuck less about Ali, right there, Doctor Kevin. Is that the guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you to hear this. It's three minutes. I'm trying to watch TV the TV, and I'm trying to listen to it. Are you listening? I am. Well, how long? Well, which one? Is how long is it? Ten minutes. Okay. In 1967, Nine months prior to his assassination and martyrdom, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was interviewed by Merv Griffin on the Merv Griffin Show. Merv Griffin asked Dr. King a relevant question. He said, Dr. King, what has been the greatest effect and impact that the civil rights struggle has had on the Negro. Dr. King paused and said, besides the dismantling of barriers that prohibited the Negro from free access, the greatest and the most profound effect that the civil rights struggle had was that it infused in the Negro something that the Negro needed all along, and that was a sense of somebodyness. You will never be able to appreciate what Dr. King meant when he said the Negro needed a sense of somebodyness until you understand the 306, 350 years of nobodyness. Mm that was infused into the psyche of people of color. 
Every sacred document in our history, every hallowed institution conspired to convince the African in America that when God made the African, that God was guilty of creative malfeasance. Mm. All of our sacrosanct documents from the Constitution said to the Negro that you're nobody. The Constitution said that we were three-fifths of a person. Decisions by the Supreme Court, like the Dred Scott decision, said to the Negro, to the African, that you had no rights that whites were bound to respect. And even Francis Scott Key, in his writing of the Star Spangled Banner, we sang verse one, but in verse three, he celebrates slavery by saying, no refuge can save the hireling and slave from the sorrow of night or the death of the grave. Every institution from religion to entertainment, from Amos and Andy to Jane and Tarzan, infused in the psyche of the Negro that he was inferior. But something happened to the depression generation and the World War II generation of African Americans. Jackie Robinson picked up his bat and hit a ball and the Brooklyn Dodgers win the pennant. Joe Lewis dismantles the pride of Aryan supremacy by knocking out Max Melling in 124 seconds. Jesse Lewis runs in ambulatory speed and wins four gold medals. Rosa Parks sits down on a bus in Montgomery in December of 1955, and a young from Boston University Black and pretty was an oxymoron. Blacks did not say pretty. The first black millionaire in this country was not Oprah, but it was Madam C.J. Walker. Yes, sir. Who made products in order to help mm -hmm. black people escape their mm -hmm. Africanity. But Muhammad Ali said, I'm proud, I'm pretty. I'm glad of who I am. And when he said that, that infused in Africans a sense of somebodyness. To extrapolate Muhammad Ali from the times in which he lives is what's called historic uh, presentism. It is to talk about George Washington and not talk about the American Revolution. It's to talk about Abraham Lincoln and not talk about the Civil War. It's to talk about Franklin Delano Roosevelt and not talk about the Depression and World War II. My, our brother Muhammad Ali was a product of a difficult time. And he dared to love black people at a time when black people had a problem loving themselves. Uh -huh. He dared, he dared to affirm the beauty of blackness. He dared to affirm the, the power and the capacity of African Americans. He dared to love America's most unloved race. And he loved us all. And we loved him because he we knew he loved us. He loved us all. Whether you lived in the suburbs or whether you lived in the slums, whether you lived on the avenue or whether you lived in an alley, whether you came from the penthouse or whether you lived in the projects, whether you came from Morehouse or whether you had no house, whether you were high yellow or boot black, mm. Muhammad <laughs> Ali, loved you. Our city is known for two things. It is known for Muhammad Ali. It is known for the Kentucky Derby. We hope you will come back and visit our city 
in the first Saturday in May. We hope you will place a bet on one of the horses. But if you do, please know the rules. It is. What will happen is the horses will start off in the starting gate, and then the signal will be given. They will run in the mud for two minutes, and the winner will then be led to the winner's circle where a wreath of roses will be placed around the horse's neck. We want you to make a bet, but please know the rules. You cannot bet for the horse once it's in the winner's circle. You have to bet for the horse while it's still in the mud. Mm. Mm. And there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people who will bet and have bet on Muhammad Ali when he was in the winner's circle. But the masses bet on him while he was still in the mud. Mm. <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar stood with him when he was in the mud. Jim Brown stood with him when he was in the mud. Bill Russell stood with him when he was in the mud. Howard Cosell stood with him when he was in the mud. Now please don't mishear me. I am not saying that Muhammad Ali is the property of black people. But he is. He is the property of all people. Watch this though. But while he is the property of all people, let us never forget that he is the product of black people, the black people. in their struggle to be free. I went looking for Jesus on a poor West End street, thinking that I would find him as he walked around with men and women with stumbling feet. Huh. People who had their heads bowed low because they were broke and had nowhere to go. But then I went looking for Jesus way in the sky, thinking he would wear a robe that would dazzle my eye. When suddenly Jesus came walking by with stumbling feet, because he'd been hanging with the poor on a West End street. The Muhammad Ali of my childhood had a shuffle, but as he grew older, he walked with shuffling feet. And I would submit to you that he walked with shuffling feet, not because of Parkinson's disease, but he walked with shuffling feet because he hang out with the folk in West Louisville who had shuffling feet. Peace and God bless you. All right. The reason I want people to hear that was because for that one simple piece. He spoke, spoke about when we bet on when we bet when you, you place your bet in, in the Kentucky. Seriously, the what is this? New list. There is there is our problem. That, that, I'm, that I'm having with black people is we don't want to bet on each other in the mud. And I use this, I use the, I always think of that when I always think of that particular stanza of, of that eulogy, the eulogy, that eulogy, when, whenever I'm thinking of black people in general. Because I feel like what has happened to us as a people it's too much of, I don't know what the term is, a good thing, they say. Too much of a good thing. Or at least for some of us. When I think about what Mayweather pulled and, 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 and Steve Harvey pulled. Because there's been some, oh, there's been some gargantuan coon in the last few days. <laughs> them motherfuckers. Oh, Lord, been, what a coon now. Oh, Steve Harvey and Mayweather been, <laughs> them up, they've been, they've been, they are Amos and Andy yeah. all day. They was, they will step and fetch it this week for real, real. And our problem is, as we get ready to wrap this thing up, I want to say this. Today's show is really about just basic conversation and speaking on a lot of things that are out there. But until we begin to get to a place of love for one another, and, I, and my, dark, my dark sense of humor tends to rub a lot of folk the wrong way. But 
I had to let that be played today so that I'm going to say this. Any business that you have as a person of color, come on to my show and we can push it because I'm betting on you in the mud. Anybody who has something they want to get out in the public, come on to my show and do it because I'm betting on you in the mud. We are we are have become a parody of what we once were because the ones of us that have made some money and got a little clout are afraid to lose it just like steve harvey said they can come and take it from you well you can't take something from me that means more than the love that my people have for me ever i love what muhammad ali said he said i can have one of these yachts out here and live in the hollywood life but i don't want to do that if i can't go back and be with my people so tonight, I want y'all to hear me. When y'all hear me on here talking a little trash about us, I'm talking that trash about us to make fun of the mangled state, mangled state we're in. Because I know we can do better. I know that we can, we, we can, we can grow. I know that we can make, make a, a comeback. Because we're losing now. I've, I've given this, this, I've given this, these stats out before. Black women outnumber black men 4.3 to 1. And 25% of black women will never be asked to be married. But that's not all on us. It's a little bit of help from the system. Because no woman want a man that's been in prison in most cases. And I'm telling y'all this. Don't give up on one another while we're in the mud. We're going to go ahead and make this thing work. We're going to pull it through. I'm going to love you, my sister. I hope that you love me, my brother. Because at the end of the day, the only way we're going to make it out of this is by doing what Muhammad Ali did. We got to love each other in spite of where we are. Whether it be the penthouse, the outhouse, no house, my house, or your house. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Hope that you enjoyed the show. Hope I didn't rub you the wrong way. Nah, I hope I did. I hope I did. I hope I rub you the wrong you know way you, you think about it. <laughs> I hope you think about it. In the process of thinking about it, I hope you laughed along the way and you learned something. Peace. <laughs>